What's up, everybody? I knew that I needed to do this video because I know people want answers. They want answers when it comes to me. And so here I am. Here I am. Here I am. And no, I am not doing this video to, to actually uh, win people over. I'm not doing this video because somebody demanded I, I'm doing it. I'm doing this video because I want to do it. And one of the things that I need to address is people asked, why do you wear a pentagram if you're a Christian? The pentagram to me, like, it may mean something to somebody else. It may mean something different to somebody else. But the original meaning of the pentagram was the five wounds of Christ. My thing is I am not afraid of like I'm not afraid of jewelry I'm not afraid of symbols I am not afraid of anything like that and God created stars if you if you're a Christian and you believe that God creates you definitely believe he created the stars he created the moon he created animals and so when people talk about animals being symbolic of something evil yes oftentimes in the Bible animals are some animals are symbolized with evil, but as far as that goes, I do not let stuff like that uh, get un get in my get underneath my skin to the point to where I go into fear. Why do I wear skulls? Obviously, because I like I like the way they look, and people have said skulls represent evil, but why would God create us with a skull? inside of our inside of our body inside of our skin if it was yeah if that was the case i like stuff like that so that, and as you can see my nails but yeah like it never bothered me to do that and at one point when i was and of course when i was a kid i was afraid of the uh i was afraid of the of the crypt keeper from tales from the crypt but I mean, that's a whole nother story. Now it's like, yo, that's cool. But yo, I, I never, like, I never once thought that giving in was a good idea. I never once thought that, hey, if I did this, if I enjoyed this, I was evil. No, I never thought that. And people, like, the only people that have ever put that in my mind is people that have been online. Like my family didn't 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 do that to me. Well, my brother did at one point, but and my aunt did at one point. But that's another story. Once they figured out, hey, this is what he does. This is what he likes. It has no actual evilness behind it. Everything was cool. But now I want I want to get deeper into this. Why? 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 Do you? support the LGBTQ community. I never told anybody this, but one person, a couple of people, but in high school, I was bi. I was. And, you know, I saw people, I never really came out at the time because I saw people getting bullied. I saw people being bullied to death, almost, like at the time, like, you were hearing about suicides and all that stuff back then. And you were hearing about different things. And so I was always afraid. And, you know, it just, it's one of the things I didn't want people to know because I saw the backlash of other people. And so it's easy to relate to people like that. It's easy to understand the pain, the feelings and everything when you, when you can see other people going through that stuff too. And so, yeah. And I know this is going to, it may ruffle some feathers, but it, at the same time, it's true. I can't lie to anybody. You know, lying, the only thing lying does is lying just, you just have to lie to cover up another lie and lie to cover up another lie. But, but yo, uh, that's where I have to be honest. And let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? 
in terms of like not just the pentagrams, but another thing that I that I was questioned about, and I was actually questioned about this is why do I wear a black craft coat. That brand, although it does have some stuff that represents like anti-Christian and whatnot, they also have some cool stuff like some Halloween stuff, some stuff that rep with zombies and skulls on it. And so I wear I wear that stuff because I like it. And of course they have the Seth Rollins when he when he came out with his own the Black and the Brave wrestling stuff. Chris Jericho wore that, although Chris Jericho is a Christian himself, and he came out with his own stuff through them. I always enjoy stuff like that. And I mean a lot of it's a lot of it's an enjoyment and taste. But I just I wanted to get this out to y'all. Because, A, I had some stuff that I wanted to get off my chest. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.